Uh, so the team hype. It was, it, was, it was half ass, let's be honest. But, you know, they, they tried. Yeah, let's be honest. They're gamers, they're not musicians. Uh, it's like, okay, if they don't have. Oh, all right, maybe we do have a musician over there. Ready, man. Pretty wow. solid vocals. This is a side gig for him. He's like, you know, <laughs> does, uh, does music in the evenings, plays a Valorant in the afternoon. They're having a good time. That, that's what matters, right? Absolutely. And as you guys hear there, there there's definitely going to be some uh, some LAN audio coming through. That's part of the amazing setup that Nursery Gamers have here is that you'll actually kind of feel like you're there at the venue, hearing the players calm, hearing them, you know, talk a little smack to each other across the way if they uh, hit a nice little shot here or there. I, I love it. And and right now, we can hear it in our ear. And I will say the last time we did this, we weren't actually able to hear it. So it was just production on stream. So if we can hear it, too, that's, that's going to be something else as well. It's some extra hype uh, to go along with. I'm definitely curious to hear that. Uh, again, mix a trash talk, but also just letting them know that you, know, you hit some good shots and you know, trying, to, trying to get that get that slight mental edge. So that is another certainly another big thing when it comes to the land play, right? I mean, you look at traditional sports, as I always go back to as well, where... There's, there's plenty of that that goes on in traditional sports, you know, on the field, the court, whatever, uh, you know, bringing that, that at least in a, you know, in a, in a somewhat uh, decent manner to esports in a game like Valorant. I, I, I'm all for so. Um, Absolutely. All right. We got some agent selections. Let's start talking about that. We got Chamber on both sides. It's going to be Chamber, Silva, Reyna, Viper, and Jet on the side of Bro Olympic Esports. We have Reyna, Astra, Viper, Chamber, and Silva for no Jet. Radiance. No Jet. That is very surprising. I mean, I can't remember the last time I saw a team not play Jet on this map. So uh, yeah. definitely interested. It looks like they're they're going with uh, maybe the more duelisty chamber with Fiend. Uh, I would have to imagine you know they're gonna somebody's gonna use an op on Breeze, right? Surely. <laughs> so uh, I'm very curious to see how Radiance's lineup uh, shakes out here because I mean, no Jet on Breeze is like blasphemy some people would say yeah cer certainly an agent that you would uh definitely expect to see but uh, and there is also that case i mean there, there's some teams out there that we've we've seen you know one that really does come to bat off the bat is oh, 100 thieves right where it's like they didn't necessarily have a jet player and so they weren't running jets in a lot of their lineups uh, as a result so maybe that's the case here for radiance uh not 100 familiar with that but that they're not running it on breeze you know Definitely tells you something, I gotta say, but they have their own strategy, perhaps. By the way, we're gonna look at Rebo off the bat as we got Radiance on the attacking side. Rebo the Esports playing defense. Temperature working up, Halls, but takes a shot to the dome, and that's the cue to fall back. But the site has already been playing for now with the fire wall up. Yeah, this is uh, this map is gonna be getting some changes up in the upcoming patch, but currently still pretty standard. The Viper Wall across the plan is default, and maybe some lineups or caves post plant play here. Oh, Potato Lover caught behind the box, gets a nice response from Dusty though. Teammate three versus three, so still certainly a chance to retake for Pro Olympic Esports Corvette Gaming. Creep on up with that classic. Run into the Viper Wall, always a full decision. Checks the box, sees one there. Doesn't know there's one of the pyramids though, but it has a teammate back up from simply. Now they're gonna run down Viper. Viper's dead. Seth goes down. It's up to temperature. He hits one shot. He's gonna heal up. Can he get a second? Yes, he can. Uh -oh. He needs a third. No, he tries to run up. Corvette snipes him out. And that will be a defuse. Bro Olympic Esports picks it off one up. Yeah, it got a little dangerous there. As soon as the rain starts healing, you have to wonder. It's the second shot, but. Ultimately, defense is able to close that one out, and you know that you can hear them. That that feels good. It feels good to get your first round win at the LAN under your belt. And uh, so now we're going to go into round number two with a little bit of a split buy. It looks like a couple of specters coming out for Radiance. We even have a Vandal over on Dusty. Uh, Rain, obviously, a great character to pick up an early rifle, able to fully heal up off of yeah. a kill. Yeah, it's a, it's a, no, it look, to me, I always see it a little bit risky, but at the same time, of course, when you're confident, understandable to make that play as Rebo's going to be watching a mid flank and has a good reason for it. Might have an opportunity, finds one, but Gonks is still roaming around. He goes down, but Gonks is hiding around, ends up catching Rebo, will pick up a gun as a result. Yeah, nice little lurk from the jet. You know, sometimes it's okay to lurk as a jet. And... Out of pays off there with a nice little kill. 
Retaking here through this Viper Wall is going to be kind of tough, especially if Temperature is able to find this timing here on Potato Lover. Oh, Temperature. We go for the knife kill. No, it's going to get a little bit faster. Lines up some headshots. Gets one, gets the second. Beautiful flurry of shots right there in Corvette. Not much he can do. So it will be a fairly easy win in the end for Radiance, understandably, going around two after winning that the first one. Or Olympic Esports, excuse me. But Wait, no, that was, what am I saying? That was Radiance. That one. <laughs> yeah. That was all over the place. That's actually a big yeah. win for them. Okay. Yeah. The split by pays off there. Of course, they uh, are able to go into round number three with a big economic advantage now, especially since we saw that, that one veil being purchased. It's going to be a very, very clear save for Bro Olympic. Oh, the, the timing was so perfect. Yep. From temperature coming up elbow. So yeah, it's taking a round right there. Makes it one to one. Seth is gonna check over at Alley. He's in the rope play, has a drone coming up, so try to avoid that. Poor vet is scouting things out. Don't think it's saw anyone though. Very safe play from temperature as well, expecting maybe an A Hall's push. Very sit back default almost in spawn strategy. Being ran by Radiance here. Yeah, I mean, Breeze is one of those maps where there is not a whole lot of cover if you're pushing out. We're going to see here. Defense getting a little antsy, going for a little bit of a walkabout and getting punished for it. It should be a pretty easy execute and plant for Radiance here. As you say, getting antsy. It's like, where is this team? It's like they're pushing up both places, <laughs> nowhere to be seen, and all of a sudden... Like, you're the ones playing attackers at that point and run right into the onslaught of guns, so... Sight's gonna be taken, that A site that is, Temperature's pushed up, Venture finds a couple headshots. And is gonna get the bomb plant on top of that, so that'll be, uh, Hunter's Fury ready to go, and Temperature finishing the job, takes out Jet, so two to one now, Radiance, but... Of course, for Olympic Esports, we'll be back on the bye here in round number four. You do see an Operator, by the way, for Conches. Yeah, that's not too surprising. Jet with the op. Breeze, definitely one of the playgrounds where you can get a ton of value out of the long range advantage that it gives you. Currently going to be posted up in a hallway. Um, but if I see this correctly, it's like there is. No, I think that's a teleport. Okay. So I don't think we're going to see a lot of hall pressure right now. Looks like they're going to go fast double door up through middle. Really fast into the A side. Fiend finds the opener. Takes out Viper. And Rebo catches Vrena as well. So the A side completely claimed once again by Radiance. That was just bowling up in mid into the double doors as you mentioned right off the bat. And uh, they are. Do they just save this? I mean, you lost two players right away. It's going to be a plan. They're going to not necessarily save, though, as Corvette's running in. Takes a shot to the face, though. And Conches, you definitely have to be thinking save now. Yeah, absolutely. And this is this is tough too because, I mean, there's still quite a bit of time for the spike to tick down. You have zero map control. Uh, this operator is not going to be held on to. Nope. In fact, it's not only not going to be held on to, but it's going to be given to Radiance, and that really is a, a big swing right there. It's simply the last one standing, and no longer standing. Had the chance, but that peeker's advantage coming into play for Venture, and finishes the job. We see Radiance. Feeling pretty confident about that one. They lost the first round, but now three in a row and setting up for a pretty easy round five as well as that economy is going to be pretty busted for Pro Olympic Esports here. Yeah, and it is worth mentioning, you, you you said that, you know, and you can see them there. They are wearing Radiance jerseys. So obviously this is a team that has been playing together for a little bit uh, as we see a little bit of a tactical timeout being called by Corvette Gaming on the side of uh, Pro Olympic. But back to Radiance, I mean, I think we're seeing it right now, a little bit of a difference in terms of the, the strategy. They're able to change to a slow default, as we just mentioned, and then they speed up the tempo. That's something that you really notice when a team is on the same page, um, and that comes from practicing together. So, Yeah. Sure, plenty of that happening, as uh, we do have a tactical pause uh, coming out. I believe that was from the side of Olympic Esports after losing three in a row, but... Looks like it was, but now coming out, we see the fist bumps going around, trying to hype things up once again as we head into that round five. But as I mentioned, uh, pretty sure as we'll see on the scoreboard here in a second, yeah, the economy's pretty ruined this round for, for Olympic. We'll see what kind of clever strategy they come up with on the defensive side. You know, maybe stacking aside, I mean, 
they have been hitting A. Understandably, this is Breeze after all. You almost want to say maybe, maybe do the A stack, but it's a good thing they're not because we see all of the stars are there. The, all the agents or her radiance are towards B girl. Oh, and we got an aggressive push out directly into the operator. Oh. But Fiend goes down. A little chamber dip there. Uh, response eventually happens, but yeah, using the headhunter to find one. Did a four versus three for now. But here comes the plant. Gotcha's in sight. Spike planted. Behind the wall. You want to right find it. Classic though. Sheriff for Corvette. That's a shiny sheriff right there. Oh, well, that's the Astro Wall use though, so. Well, it was already a difficult <laughs> task is now even very extra difficult, if that makes sense. Zep, though, he's going to catch them lurking around, finds two, and then Reva will finish it off before that goes down. And yeah, Astro Wall committed, but hey, easy win in the end for Radiance, as expected. Yeah, I love that, too. There's the Astro Wall, a tiny little gap, Viper Wall on the other side. So you run through the Astro Wall, you get decayed, and then Reva is also sitting in between there, just in case they needed a little bit of extra protection. Yeah. So, Radiance looking pretty strong here, and we did see uh, Fiend, the chamber, being the one to pick up the operator there as he's going to get it back from a teammate here as well. Um, so, definitely want to keep my eye on this. You know, is this the new jet, quote unquote? Seems kind of unlikely, but at the same time, you know, if he's finding value. I'm, I'm always open to some meta shifts. Yeah, well, with the patch to come, who knows what's going to happen, right? With him. We're expecting some bigger changes, but either way, it's not here yet. We're still in 3.12. On the right side of your screen is Group E. Best of three. This is match one, and that operator is not going to get a chance early on. Look at this lurk on mid from Seth. However, Dusty speaks at the right time and wins the duel and gets the player advantage currently. For Berlin Esports, Rebo in B site, but taking some fire. Yeah, that's a great change of pace from Berlympic. They've been kind of losing those opening duels. Time and time again, but now getting a couple picks to start. Nice flick. However, oh, Dusty also gets taken out of Fiend finds Gonchis. So just when you think for Olympic Esports, I mean, they did have a big advantage. It was a five versus three. But those shots coming out in the B site, the spike's going to be planted. Now it's up to Potato Lover. His teammate Silva. Retake. It starts strong. Corvette gets one. Now a two versus two. They do have Hunter's Fury as well. No other utility Last current. Oh, Fiend finds Potato Lover, though. Pretty good timing here. Oh, Rebo saw him. A little shoulder peek. Gets taken out, though. Corvette has ultimate, but no way he's here. Fiend going to reposition to window. Yep. This is a tough one to win. Yeah. Against the operator, it's like, what do you really do there? That's a hat trick for Fiend. And finishes it strong. You see the cheering coming out. You hear more so. Cheering coming out makes it five to one. Yeah, that was a round. Bro, Olympic esports had every right to win that round. Five versus three in the beginning, a couple early kills, but they can't. Yeah, and here's where things get really interesting. I was just looking at it. Chamber has his ultimate, also has like six thousand, seven thousand credits in the bank, and an operator. So at this point, realistically, Fiend is going to have an operator every round for the rest of this half if he wants to. <laughs> Good point. And he's clearly confident with. He got three kills the previous round. He's going to go right up to Hulls early on here. But as we can see on the minimap, nobody Hulls on defense. Uh, the two players are currently in the A site. On the mean Pfeiffer, but that door is going to get some action very soon. Temperature starts opening it up. So it's going to be hit. Gosh's though. Nice shot. Gets the trade from Fiend, though. And temperature finds Corvette. Potato Lover creeping up through double doors, trying to help retake the site early. But once again, going to be claimed. They put the snake bite on default. The plant's going to be coming out soon as temperature also goes all the way to the spawn, pushing through and kill simply. Yeah, Radiance is just doing a great job finding those little holes in the Bro Olympic Esports defense. Whether it's halls, mid, or double door, depending on the round. And they are hitting those defensive holes very hard and getting the spike down quickly. Six to one for Radiance right now. Fiend, once again, still sitting on the operator at 8,700 credits. It's, yeah, I mean, you're right. Especially now, really could just have an operator the rest of this first half as we're only in round number eight at this point. But six to one start for Radiance. And we're back to the economy save for the side of Careful, uh, Bro Olympic Esports. They do have Viper's Pit as well as Hunter's Fury. Of course, Chamber has his on the other side, but he has an operator in hand, so... Likely not going to come out. So 
at mid this time with it. Stack in the A side, it looks like, as Seth, he was spotted, took some bullets. Drop down, though. I was actually just double checking. Seth used to play for Space Station Gaming and Easy Five before that, so this is he's he's been signed and playing competitive for quite some time. I mean, this this Radiant Squad is is looking really nice. They yep. they have some good players and some good coordination so far here on Breeze. Yeah, like like we're saying from what we were hearing too. Apparently, with these nursery events that uh, have been going on more online based, not necessarily the lands, but Radiance has been looking pretty good. A lot of these events uh, hosted by Nerd Street Gamers. As of recent history, so it's really a solid squad. Seth, that time though, he got a little distracted, and Potato Lover takes full advantage. Headshot with the sheriff, but once again, a, another retake. That seems nearly impossible. One on the side of Roland the Esports is suddenly down to one. Yeah, they actually won uh, the open number ten, so that was just uh, in December. Um, so yeah, definitely a team that has been building quite a bit of momentum in these little events. Now getting to showcase what they have been working on here at LAN. And uh, I mean, I was questioning the no jet, but so far it's been paying off. Fiend finding plenty of value with the operator. You know, it's not quite as aggressively positioned as you see some jets, but I think on this map, a lot of the value for attacking ops comes from kind of playing back and just like killing the rotators as your team executes on one site. 10, 2, and 1, obviously a fantastic stat line to have for Fiend. A while since he's got even an overall 7 1 start for the side of Radiance. Fiend this time early peek into the B site. Simply hiding behind that pillar. They use the Astro Wall as well, by the way. Support back goes down elsewhere. Viper still was used on the A site from Olympic, but clearly that's not going to happen. Of course, Radiance going all the way to the B side. A quick trade there. Nice job by Seth. And that Astro Wall is going to be going down soon, but it's already done its job. You can tell. Olympic Esports kind of in panic right here, trying to get to the site quickly as Gonchas at least gets one, but one versus three. Does he actually go for a retake? I mean, you're down 7-1. to you, you try to make a play with this? Or... Yeah, probably going to just save. I mean, but even that's going to be hard as we see players already sneaking through spawn. He needs to be a little bit careful with how long he holds this nest position. Yeah, we can see Seth already mm -hmm. a good spot to punish. Not just though, has other ideas, but Venture going to re-peak Clean up the jet, and yeah, Bro Olympic is going to be extremely poor once again. Yeah, that first round going the way of Bro Olympics, they clutch it in the end in that pistol. But as we know, pistol rounds are certainly different than the gun rounds. And right now, they're outmatched by Radiance, who's up eight to one on the attacking side. This was the map choice by Radiance, worth reiterating. But still, it's a tough climb now for Bro Olympic Esports because coming back, they do have Hunter's Fury, knives in one orb. Or Jet, uh, they are doing a little bit of a force, aren't they? Gonchas actually goes for the Vandal. The half armor even coming out. They got a Guardian in there, I believe. So, yeah, he's gonna have he's gonna have knives next round. So it kind of makes sense. I mean, they just need every round they can get at this point. So, got to give yourself at least some chance to fight back here. But again, Radiance quickly onto the site. Good trades. Yeah, the, we've been seeing that a lot. I feel like the good trade. Line has come out quite often for good reason. And Radiance is certainly goes back to what you're stating earlier. They, you could tell they, they've been practicing. They've been working on this teamwork quite a bit, and on point with the communication and etc. So, once again, A side has been claimed. It's a four versus three now. As Fiend found another and double door hole. Peek there for Reyna. Almost lost her head, but lucky to not. Very tough to retake this site with this setup that Radiance has right now. You have a Vandal, I mean, I guess you go for it, try and get some value. Last player standing. Speak back out on Seth, but Seth was ready and simply... Marshall trying to land a headshot, he gets some shots in, but it's not enough damage. Down to three live for temperature. <laughs> oh, temperature, he, he's not even trying to stray for peak, he's literally just sitting there crouched with a Vandal. It's like, alright, hit your Marshall shot, I dare you challenge is real and i mean to be fair he did hit a couple but not in the right place yes yeah, we're now looking at nine to one so take a look at the players once again radiance on your right bro olympic esports on your left radiance cool calm and collected despite being up nine to one two more rounds to go back to buys for the side of bro olympic esports you mentioned knives are ready for jet everyone else buying around her also have uh empress 
Freddy as well as Hunter's Fury, so certainly a winnable round, but we're gonna have a big clash at the B side. Early on, the drone is up. Temperature leading the way, trying to spray through. They got the mark, and Seth actually gets a kill on Corvette. No response kill from the side of Prolimpic. Not for sure with a lot of firefight coming out. But no, they don't get a response. Yeah, now they're in a tough spot because they're down a player. They've used a decent amount of utility, and they have to... Oh, they do get a kill. Nice knife kill from Gaunches there. As we can see, Spike headed towards A already, where a solo Reyna is left to anchor. Is in Empress form though, so Dusty does have an opportunity to make a big play here. Scan here just has to go quickly, but it can't hit the shots. We've all been Who's there. Gone? You're in a little bit of panic, certainly. Hey, speak Dusty. for yourself. Yeah, yeah you, you've never. I don't miss those. <laughs> Spike planted. Oh boy, uh, unfortunate timing there, but it's still winnable. Gunches, in fact. Hey, yeah, this door play though, that's that's not gonna happen. That, that'll change in the future patch, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, Gonch is gonna have to go the other way around. The teammate just dashes out, goes loud, and unfortunately can't hit the headshot there either. And quickly, the two kills happen for Radiant. So 10 to 1. Radiant's here the first half. We're gonna close up extra strong, and we'll let the Geese Sports, of course, uh, back to. And we're gonna have to force here, as naturally, as it is the last round. But they have Hunter's Fury. That is it, though, and especially on B. I mean, it can be useful, but yeah, you see this early on B play. I thought, again, maybe a trade potentially, but there really wasn't a lot of return fire, I suppose. It's really just Corvette left out in the open. Yeah, you can see some really nice utility coverage there, though. There was a snake bite on that back pillar. There was the suck close. Of course, they had the wall to block play, out vision, and play. in that chaos, finding that early pick set them up to win the rest of the round. Oh, look at this. You could... You, I love oh. that we could hear the players, by the way, because you could actually hear the call that they did the jiggle peek. They saw her up top, and you could tell the call. You could hear the call coming out. They're up top. They're up top, and that's where Fiend looked, and sure enough, got the kill. Yeah. Unfortunate timing for Gonchas there. Went to reposition just as he got repeeked. The lover hiding behind the box. There's a lot of movement in the water. It's a great peak timing, though. Big kill there. However, the spray... Oh, but it survives! It simply gets Rebo, so... Very winnable now for Brolympic. They have the player advantage. Seth has a good timing here. Up halls. Nobody currently checking. Well, it's just up to Seth, who does take two. Now one versus two. Gonna pop the Viper's Pit. This is an interesting spot to do it in, but I suppose it's the last round. You gotta make a play right here. Seth currently at about half life going up against Chamber and Reyna. Thirty seconds left. Making it quite a bit of noise. They know he's dropping. Good coverage. And uh, a second round going the way of Brolympic. So, you know. It's uh, not gonna be an easy second half, but they certainly they they respectably move on with a little bit of a method. Yeah, they, they at least get the final round to make it ten to two. But uh, we'll see what they really are all about. And, of course, it starts with a pistol. But, hey, you look back at the... I mean, honestly, again, they won the pistol round. That round two, they were setting up to win as well, of course, with the gun advantage. But a couple of four spies and a great flank timing by temperature right there. And it's a play like that that can just set a train of momentum, right? We, we talk about that all the time, with the, especially in a game like Valorant. It really feels like that there's that momentum that comes into play. A lot of swing of the pendulum, whatever you want to say. And that round two is certainly making a big difference in allowing for... Those 10 rounds in a row then to ultimately come together for uh, for ratings there in the first half. Right. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of people obviously were, you know, first to 13, right? Um, so the that actual maps can end a little bit more quickly than, say, something like Counter-Strike. And then, obviously, we, we also have, like, the pistol round, which seems to be fairly weighted towards like you win pistol you should win round two but mm -hmm. if you don't suddenly you find yourselves in a, a bad economic situation for round three when you're supposed to be you know kind of starting to potentially steal the the entire first half away because if you if you go into round three with a decent amount of weaponry and the other team is on their first rifle round and maybe they're not feeling super good because they've lost two rounds in a row you can really get off to a hot start but we saw the momentum completely flip there by that nice flank timing from temperature. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's a tech pause, uh, would be my guess. So they haven't coming over and talking with a couple of the players as we enter, get ready to even go into the second half. So 
Hopefully uh, not too much of a long one here, but uh, in a land environment, and obviously it could tend to happen here and there. But I will say the last event overall has definitely ran very smooth, and uh, we certainly didn't have much downtime, so hopefully not jinxing us for this one. But uh, I'm sure they got a great team there in person on the administration and production side and everything. So getting any issues taken care of ASAP and getting back into the match. But yeah, Pro Olympic Esports is going to be an uphill climb, certainly here on map one. But hey, like I said, it starts with a pistol round. Got the attacking side. Let's see what uh, they can bring to the table. They do have the jet on their side. And so, of course, uh, I want to necessarily say it like an advantage. Obviously, Radiance was very comfortable not running the jet and using Chamber essentially in her place. But um, Jet, a fantastic agent on this map. And we maybe we can make some plays with her as we will be on that attacking side. Yeah, I guess another interesting thing to note is we've got the, the Soul of Viper on the side of Olympic versus the Astro Viper on the side of Radiance. So this is definitely one of those maps where you tend to see kind of just the Soul of Viper a lot, but having the ability to, you know, have those walls, but then the extra smokes on top of it was doing a lot of work there. You know, you can smoke uh, bridge very easily along with that diagonal Viper wall across a site. Um, and then even, you know, adding in stuff like the gravity well to these executes adds a lot of extra punch and, and control to when you're um, trying to make some of these more explosive plays. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, here we go. Back into the game, whatever the pause was for, it's taken care of. As we are looking once again to that 10 to 2 scoreboard. Let's see the buys here on the pistol round. A lot of impressive stat lines as well, including Fiend continues right to lead the way right on that chamber. 14, 3, and 3. Feeling very good. But here we go into the second half for Olympic Esports. It starts with the pistol. And they're going to do a bit of a 3 2 split as they work through our middle to going towards the A side. And Reyna trying to claim middle, and they get the early kill. So player advantage one is once again for Olympic. Oh, can't that shot. And he's out of bullets. <laughs> yeah. Just good too with the buy that he had there on the headhunter. A and... couple of trades though. Potato Lover finds Fiend. So now a four versus two. Where is the spike going though? Looks like B site is open. Reyna confirms that. And the spike is certainly headed that direction. Temperature trying to peek out mid. Go for the timing. There is a player to her, his left though. Oh, he doesn't know it getting flanked simply. Well played on his timing. And now Dusty trying to find Seth to finish the job. But Seth finds the head. Conscious though. We'll find the headshot on to Seth, and they clean it up. So, again, starts with the pistol, and there you go. 3 to 10. Hear the excitement in the background. Gonna make a little hype happen. Pistols yeah, don't gonna... count. <laughs> we're going to see a bunch of rifles coming out here, and why not? You know, they, they want to build this momentum. We're seeing two Vandals, a Bulldog, and a Guardian currently being purchased, although Corvette may be thinking better of it. Either way, definite firepower advantage for Olympic. So you would expect them to take this one. But we'll see what Radiance has in store for them as far as pistol round strats. Stack out double door for now. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like that's exactly what they're doing. They're peeking out. Fiend's got the headhunter, four bullets. However, and no one is mid currently for the side of Olympic Esports. You got Dusty. Check on the site. Guardian, a little bit of spray to the wall. Oh, sees two and suddenly has to knife out and jump away. Corvette, unfortunate for Corvette. They do get a trade, but who's into that classic? And the classic kill again on Potato Lover, but look at the kill feed there. Three kills suddenly going the way of Olympic Esports, and now it is just up to Silva. And whoa, nice clean shot from Dusty there. The Guardian. So it does end well for Olympic to make a four to ten, unlike the first half. Be able to claim that, that round two. Yep, and they hold on to two of their rifles. Unfortunately, had to drop a Guardian there, but it's like they'll have a decent buy going into this next one. For the most part, always curious with the, the chamber how it affects the, the buy. It's like simply just going to go ahead and buy up a rifle for himself. Corvette will be on a Spectre. A couple half armors on the side of Radiance as well. Temperature, they, they love to play aggressive out of this door. You definitely tell they, they really want to control mid, does Radiance here on defense. And Fiend is even in here, so yeah, they really essentially got three players mid. But again, it's for Olympic Esports not going to really show much presence in mid. Actually giving it up. Got yeah, to be careful about getting flanked, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Simply be walking and scouted in halls. Not 
much coming of that, though. Creep it up, A. And a heavy lean towards A as well for the defense, but rotation's starting to head over towards B. At the same time, Bro Olympic is thinking better of their A attack. And they're headed towards B as well. Viper Wall has not been used yet by Olympic. They do have Viper's Pit on top of that, so if they can get in that site, get a spike plant, be a tough retake. Yeah, B side, as you mentioned, looks like it might be the play here. 40 seconds remaining. Conscious starts slowly peaking. Fiend makes sure to lock down mid still. Rebo knows it. Here's them coming. Gonna hide in the smoke. What a play from Rebo right here. Gets the skin, gets a kill. Very well played. The patient paying off. Nice trade for Dusty, though. Venture with a shock dart kill, even, and a spray and pray. However, Dusty kills Venture. So, with three versus three, Viper's dead, but can they get the spike land temperature? Will kill simply. That's going to be tough for Bro Olympic, especially with Fiend wrapping around, finds the timing, and Radiance cleans it up. That was a really, really nice play from Rebo. He had the stars set up, you know, for whatever potentially you need them for. Generally, you're thinking, you know, oh, it's going to be the the gravity well, but the smokes and playing within the smokes is Astra is very strong there, especially with that dart to give vision to be able to spam through and kind of read the situation. Oh, yeah, it's like it's on key right there. We see the instant replay coming out immediately, uh, hiding in their own smoke. And when you have the uh, wall hack, thanks to Silva, I mean, it pretty much is an easy kill for Rebo there. And no, got traded eventually, but of course, that really slowed down the early momentum for a Olympic Esports and uh, for a good, re good retake, Radiant. So, yeah, it is a uh, buy Zell for Olympic. Uh, they even have a Spectre and a Marshall, though, in there. So, maybe not as full of a buy as they would hope for. Hitting B early. Oh, Dusty sees ahead, but so does Fiend, and wins the duel of the one taps. Yeah, I. Man, that angle is tough. I, I feel like it almost always favors the the person with like the slightly downward angle. Sure. Rebo gets caught pushing for the orb. However, Fiend they talk about angles. B. Very tight one right there, but lands a shot and the second kill, and the woo's coming out. Player would be happy. It's you can tell now for Olympics. Not sure what to really do. It's a two versus four. Very difficult task. You have uh, your chambers also at half life, so Corvette's gonna go for an opener. Feeling a trap, but that Standing does give ahead. away information. Somebody's over there. Yep, you can see Radiance. They are just closing the net. From all sides. Clamps down and Radiance makes it 12 to 4. So on map point is Radiance here. This is the first map of this best out of three. And kicking it off on Breeze with the Radiance map choice, we're going to Ascent next. The map choice of Olympic and Icebox map three if needed. Right now, Radiance is very strong. Olympic made it somewhat interesting here to begin the SAV, you know, winning the first couple, but Radiance coming back into it. Got the guns. And Rebo currently sitting on a classic. Does have Astral Wall. Nails and stuff around him. There's the Astral Wall. Uh, right on cue. Interesting. Cute. Very, very aggressive wall. You can see Rebo pushing down halls immediately huh. behind the drone. So they have tons and tons of information. This is a very strange play, but. It could be ready for it. Dusty <laughs> read, reads it. Yeah, that was uh, Rebo pushing through the aggressive Astral on defense with a classic. I, something about that just feels a little, a little off. A little funky. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, gets found, so Olympic's like, all right, sure, we'll take that. So, yeah, no Astral to worry about now. And I mean, a player down, so suddenly feeling a little bit better about this round number 17 and how it could potentially go. Looks like B side is, is where they're still thinking about hitting. Viper's pit is ready. Nice shot from Gotcha's there with a the Marshall temperature, though. This continues to be on point with these trades, but cannot get away. Good rundown from the side of Olympic. So the Dusty going to go ahead and push forward aggressively as well. It's going to be a very tough retake for Radiance with that pit down. Only two players alive. Venture trying to creep through Tunnel here alongside Fiend. Last player standing. 
Oh, a nice shock dart timing. Corvette will find the kill with the adventure, though. A little bit of spray with a vandal. Gets one, picks up the other vandal. Bulls, I suppose, but Corvette trades and finishes the round. Makes it 5 to 12. So, for Olympic Esports, staying alive. They commit a Viper Spit for it, but. Yeah, again, some funky play from Radiance there with the aggressive Astro Wall. Pushed through with the classic, but still, uh, Brolympic will take it. And they stay alive here on map one. I believe Brolympic also used their Chamber Ultimate there as well. Oh, yeah. So, down that Ultimate, which means they have none available. But two players, Corvette Gaming on the Sova and Gaunches on the, on the Jet, one orb away. Let's see if they exert a little bit of early orb control. Speaking of Chamber Ultimate, Fiend has his, as we are in a pause, by the way. Uh, pause our 16 seconds, so I'm guessing a technical pause once again. But uh, Fiend, uh, Tour de Force? Is it, what is it? That's what it's called, right? Tour de Force, yeah. Tour de Force, yeah. Um, or Tour, if you want to sound. Or American. American. Um, yeah, so the Free Operator, you can also call it. Uh, Going to be coming out for Fiend this round, it looks like, as... Talking things over, so it, it actually looks like this might be a strap pause, to be honest, with their reactions, but either way, 12 5. When you see the admin come over, perhaps oh, yeah. not. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, the, this shot actually confused me a little bit at first. I was like, wait, did they really line them up face to face like that? Holy, that's something, that's intense, but no. Here's the other shot where it's like, okay, I mean, they're, they're near each other, but they're not like face to face necessarily. Our production owns. They, they're just really on point with these transitions as we're talking about it. I love it. Thank you, Nerd Street. But yeah, as you can see, there's the stage. A um, little bit of an angle. You know, you got to make it look stylish, make it look nice. The blue-green setup as well. Good color choices. Personally, a big fan of green. Favorite color up in here. What's your favorite color, Elevated? Uh, it's probably purple. Like dark purple. purple all right funky up in there a purple enjoyer over here all right once again so uh figure out what the deal is here hopefully not a long one we get right back into it. it's 12 to 5 though for radiance here on this is map one of our first of four best of three is going to be coming at you so we have a long day of valorant ahead and looking forward to it Certainly. So we're just getting started. I truly mean that. We really are just getting started for today. But back into the game. Let's Radiance trying to close this out now. And it's going to be an immediate Viper Spit. You hear the two to four are also coming out for Chamber as expected. So Olympic Esports still trying to make the comeback, but we have a lot of utility to get through. Yeah, and look where Fiend is posted up. Very pushed up here in mid. Same time. Olympic Esports has a chamber all the way in spawn. Although it looks like they're starting to rotate across. Fiend could find a pick here. He certainly does on Gaunches. Sandwiching them in essentially towards the A side. So yep. let's see, they're they're working up Pauls now. Two of them are there. Right here. Uh, their, their chamber's back in their they spawn though. Right. So rotating around, but might run into that Druid of Forest. Oh, goes for the shot. He actually did some damage to the wall, but doesn't get the kill. Nice and flick. Fiend not done with the aggression, continuing to flank around. So yeah, the sandwich is real. They're just closing in on Brolympic, giving them very little room to play, and kind of forcing them to go towards the A site where most of Radiance is stacked. But Dusty finds a nice kill on step. That means the Viper's Pit is gone. Spike down A. He's going off right now. Flank and then picks up the Vandal and he finds the fourth kill to close it out. Radiance 13 to 5. Takes out Olympic Esports here in Map 1. So Fiend is fun to watch. He is uh he's not only on the latest agent officially in the game, at least until the next one. But point is on Chamber looking very clean there. And played it very well. And uh, definitely a big reason. That's why it's Radiance. Ultimately as a team, though. Good teamwork coming out in Victorious in Map 1. Yeah, I, I love it. You get to see a little bit of a, a different look coming out from Radiance, and it pays off as the, the double smoker, the no jet chamber lineup uh, comes out looking real strong. And uh, that makes me excited to see what they have in store for us in map number two. Yeah, uh, Ascent is going to be that map too. And you talk about no jet. I mean, Ascent, is jet really a necessary agent on Ascent? We can maybe see some different agents there, right? Whether it's chamber or even like an arena, uh, once again, for example. So maybe not. 
We'll see. Um, but uh, I believe we're going to be going to a short break here. But before we do, I want to give a shout out to uh, Mike and Ike right here. So I want to take your candy game to the next level with a pack of Mike and Ike Original Fruits or Mike and Ike Mega Mix. The delicious, fruity, chewy flavors will help fuel your game and power you up to keep playing at your best. Power up with Mike and Ike. Shout out to the sponsors right there helping us to put on this event. But Radiance for Olympic Esports, map number two. We're going to Ascent. We'll see how that all shapes up after a short break. What's going to break CPK? Join by Elevated. Stay tuned. More coverage coming at you 